uh, Mach Lawn saw it and I designed tillage equipment for Great Plains at the Tipton uh, facility. Uh, currently working on the ultra chisel. Um, we're able to work from, um, you know, all, obviously all the way up to ground level down to eight inches is max depth on it. Um, we can, we've got a, options of nine and 12 inch shank spacing with either uh, 16 or 12 inch sweeps depending on the shank spacing. And then we also have a uh, seven inch winged point that we, is available. The shanks on the old chisel are, um, they have 30 inches of underframe clearance. Um, it's a spring-loaded shank. The main frame of the ultra chisel um, is has a floating hitch design um, where the where the front tongue um, will pivot up and down with the tractor independently of the the frame of the of the ultra chisel. Um, we have front gauge wheels on the machine, then castering gauge wheels. Uh, that are on walking tandems as well as the uh, rear center section. The front walking tandems um, will pivot side to side also or float up and down um, where all four sets of walking tandems are on the ground at all times in uneven terrain. Walking beams we uh, on the mainframe we went away from the uh, Timken or a tapered roller bearing. Um, there's several issues with with running a, a, a tapered roller bearing in a walking tandem where they don't uh, rotate completely as they do in a wheel hub. They'll hammer out one side of the bearing and get pitted and, and uh, so we went to a uh, composite uh, fiberglass uh, Teflon wound bushing that's got a, a seal on one side and, and uh, the whole unit is sealed on the outside then with, with dust caps. It's running on a, just a hardened shaft, 1045 shaft. All of the new ultra chisels and uh, we're currently working on going across the board with this design instead of running a grease seal in our hubs where we do still run the uh, tapered roller bearings. Um, we went to a five lip cartridge style seal that uh, actually Se uh, seals on itself. Um, the there's no running uh, bearing surface on either the hub or the or the spindle. Um, design kind of come from the heavy truck industry. The uh, seal manufacturers tested. Um, they run them in in a slurry, and uh, the current seal that we were running, the grease seal, um, ran 50 hours before. Um, they it got contamination into the bearing and the uh, this new cartridge seal I believe ran 2500 and they quit the test with no contamination. Currently the sizes um, we're doing a 27 and a 30 and a 33. Um, there are plans to go out to a 5 section which will probably reach up to 45 feet. Um, could possibly go down as, as small as 21 feet on the current platform. The old chisel has the, the floating hitch design, um, which enables us to carry the whole weight of the machine with the tires on the machine instead of relying on the tongue of the tractor. Um, the nice thing about it, it lets us move the rear rock shaft clear to the rear of the machine and give us really good capabilities of, of carrying um, a lot of options of, of finishing attachments. We have a, a coil tine drag, a three bar coil tine drag, which is available with an optional uh, rolling basket reel behind it. Um, it's a big heavy coil tine. They're uh, 24 inch tines, uh, 9 16 rod. Um, we also have a spike, a high residue spike drag that is available. It's got a 4x4 frame, um, very durable, heavy, heavy built frame. Um, we spent a lot of time um, just on all the, the small details. Um, trying to make the machine durable so when the guy takes it to the field it's it's running he's not working on it with the, the bearing hubs or the the wheel hubs with the with the new seals um, oversized hubs oversized tires heavy ply tires so he's not fighting flats um, maintenance free pivot bushings um, so he's not spending any time you know crawling underneath it with a grease gun 
routing the hoses and, and putting hose clamps and, and in areas to keep hoses from getting pinched and, and uh, where they might normally rub on the frame and, and may not cause issues you know the first year or so but, but down the road eventually uh, tear the covering on a hose and, and uh, cause trouble. Um, just overall we designed it to, to go to the field and run.